pop star Christina Aguilera has been living in her family mansion for quite some time, purchasing the gated property back in 2013 for over $10 million. The home is located in the Mulholland Estates neighborhood and boasts features like unique fireplaces, a bathhouse, saltwater pool, and much more. Not to mention one of Christina's former Hollywood homes also just came up for sale. And today we're going to take a look at a couple of her properties past and present. We even found the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Christina Aguilera is a singer, songwriter, TV personality and more who's best known for her vocal power and credited as one of the main artists responsible for reviving teen pop in the late 90s. Five-time Grammy winner has also often reinvented her image, becoming well known for her unconventional and at times risque looks. In addition to her successful pop music career, she's also ventured into acting in TV, notably serving as a judge on the competition series The Voice. Christina is one of the world's best-selling music artists and at the time, she's amassed an estimated net worth of $160 million. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're gonna check out a couple places Christina Aguilera has called home, including her current mega mansion. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Back in 2013, Christina settled in her current family mansion, paying $10.75 million for the stunner. Located in the Sherman Oaks neighborhood, Mulholland Estates is a celeb favored location, and the pop star's famous neighbors here include Kendall Jenner, who purchased her abode off of Charlie Sheen, and the likes of Paris Hilton and DJ Khaled, just to name a few. Christina's mansion sits on a double lot behind secure gates on just under an acre of land, while the spacious home is built in a Mediterranean style. The interior span 11,107 square feet of space with six beds, nine baths, and custom designs and finishes throughout. Christina purchased the home off of Tom Gores, owner of the Detroit Pistons, and he was formerly leasing it to Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Adrian Malouf for 20K per month. The main living spaces had an airy yet grand vibe with an old world touch in many of the rooms. There were soaring wood beam ceilings, such as in the living room, which also features a fireplace. The great room has a large arch door leading to outside, as well as a charming staircase to the upper level. Christina's gourmet kitchen is decked out with rich wood cabinetry and wood beams and hardwood floors to match. All of the wood gives a warm vibe to the massive kitchen, and there are high-end appliances, including the upscale stove and range. Other features here include a walk-in pantry with fridge and sunny breakfast table. Recently, Christina shared a photo of one of her living areas which she's decorated with a lot of bright red. It was accessorized with black, gold, white, and gray furnishings and fans love the aesthetic, also boasting a gold fireplace and mushroom-shaped cushions. Luxury arched hallways lead through the main level of her home and also offer French doors out to a courtyard. Christina's impressive mansion has an elegant brick and tile wine room, a movie theater, as well as a cozy wood paneled library with fireplace. There are also two bars and a formal chandelier adorned living area which flows into an enclosed sunroom with wood paneled ceilings. I love the vibe of this space and it also has hand painted details on the wall, a fireplace, a billiards table and sitting area while the arched glass door is open to the garden. All of the five guest bedrooms boast their own ensuite, but Christina's master retreat tops them all. The space is fit for a queen with carved stone fireplace, private office that could be a dressing room, and two walk-ins. Not to mention, the marble master bath is made up of two rooms, both of which have chandeliers as well as twin vanities, a soaking tub, and steam shower. More recently, Christina gave us a more personal look into the space, giving fans a sneak peek at her sleeping quarters. She took to Instagram to show off her perfect jeans, but her glamorous bedroom nearly stole the show. The pop star was standing in the dressing room area of her boudoir, which now features a black and white tiled floor and accents like a black beaded curtain. In usual Christina fashion, her massive bed had pink, black, and white cushions, as well as a rose gold chandelier above the bed 
and an impressive floor to ceiling headboard. Just when you think that's it, we still didn't check out the backyard. The lush grounds of the mansion are stacked with entertainment areas and perfectly landscaped gardens, including a stone gazebo, barbecue and grilling station, as well as a couple of fountains. Also out back, there's a saltwater pool and spa along with a bathhouse, all of which is protected with state-of-the-art security systems. At the time, Christina shares the stunning property with her two children, Max and Summer Rain, as well as her fiancé, Matt Rutler. Christina's lived in her current mansion for a long time now, but she hasn't always. Recently in December 2021, it was reported that a mid-century mansion once owned by the star was on the market for just under $10 million. Christina sold this abode in 2011 for $4.7 million to a beauty executive, while at one point the property was even owned by other Hollywood stars like Liza Minnelli and Jack Haley Jr. The architectural home was located at the end of a prime enclave in the Sunset Strip area of Hollywood and surrounded by plenty of other celebrity mansions with stunning views from downtown to the ocean. Built back in 1960 and transformed into a contemporary masterpiece since, this mansion offers 6,500 square feet of space and four beds and seven baths. During her time living here, Christina summoned interior designer Steve Herman to help her give the home a total redesign. Looking at photos, we can see the modern crib has features like wooden ceilings, a multitude of skylights, and other custom details. Some main level highlights include grandly sized common areas like the family room with sunken conversation pit and built-in seating, as well as walls of glass that overlook the LA basin. Meanwhile, the master suite spans an impressive 1,200 square feet of space alone, boasting two fireplaces, a huge walk-in closet, and a marble bath with built-in aquarium. Downstairs, Christina's former home had a home movie theater with seats for 18 and a wet bar, while outside, you'll find a sun deck and both a free-form pool and 12-person spa warmed with an outdoor fireplace. This home embodies the ultimate Hollywood Hills lifestyle, but it seems that Christina's current mansion is much more family-friendly. All right, guys, so now that we've taken an in-depth look at where Christina Aguilera calls home, I'm gonna bring this house tour to a close. We saw her longtime Mulholland the States mansion, which is truly beautiful, as well as how she's decorated some of the rooms more recently, including her master suite. We also checked out a much more modern Sunset Strip crib she used to live in prior to this. Which home was more your style? For me, that's easily her current property because I love the enchanting details like the arches, gardens, and not to mention the warm yet grand interiors. Be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about Christina's mansions down in that comment section. I personally loved her style. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and tell me which celebrity homes we should take a look at next. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!